Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio here in our step-by-step -step to Mega Base series. The previous episode we left off with our initial setup, getting access to power, mining up all the relevant ores and starting to auto-craft things we're gonna need plenty of while doing some initial research on the side. Today it's time to take this smelting setup to the next step so we can smoothly sail through the early game. In order to do that I want to craft myself a whole bunch more mining drills. I'm gonna go with about 8 miners for the iron initially and maybe 4 to 6 for the copper. And then I just wanna lead this all the way over with belts. Power these drills up, the ore is now just gonna accumulate on the belt. Setting up 4 drills for the copper right there. And I'm just gonna drag a blueprint over to know which trees I have to remove. Go away. And just like that I also have access to copper now. Last but not least we're gonna need coal and we don't actually need much of it so two electric drills are gonna suffice to begin the smelting. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit in order to route it along the power poles making my way through the forest and maybe at this point we can move up. I ran out of belts but luckily I can just grab new ones now I got 400. How very nice. I'm also grabbing some inserters so I already got them in the pocket. And now we can complete this line effortlessly. Another research is completed. Let's have a look at the fast inserters. They're gonna become useful quite quickly. And just like that, we now have access to all three ores conveniently together in order to make our smelting setup. I would say we're gonna kick things off by crafting our first splitter and we're also gonna need an underground belt. I'm gonna add those to my hotbar right there split up the coal right here and then maybe we can use an underground belt to lead the copper over and now what we end up with is two lines of coal each paired up with a type of ore. I'm gonna start setting up the iron smelting first so we're just gonna keep going with this. Now it's time to grab a bunch of furnaces and it looks like we are out of stone. I should be able to collect that in my stone chest and yes indeed. Come on guy we need more furnaces thank you very much. I'm gonna start smelting approximately here in pairs. So we'll have two furnaces, then one space in between, another two. For now I'm gonna do eight on either side, but we're gonna expand on this pretty soon. Each of my furnaces will receive a inserter on this side for the iron, on the other side it will grab the coal. And then of course we should build a whole bunch of long-handed inserters to do the missing material. So right here I wanna see long-handed inserters and this way we cover both of the lines. As for the power, we just set up a power pole in between the furnaces so they can still reach this inserter that we're gonna use to grab the smelted materials. All of this is gonna end up on belts on either side and somewhere on the top here they're gonna join together and they will combine on a single belt. So all we have to do to make this functioning is hook it up to power. And there we go. Now this is gonna give us plenty of iron in absolutely no time. Also I can finally get rid of my ores right there. With even distribution I can hit the control key and just drag over everything. It's phenomenal. Now we basically want to do the very same thing over here for the copper. All we have to do is bring our two lines over here, the coal and the copper as well. You can go in here. And then of course we have to build the blueprint. In the future robots are gonna do that for us. We'll get to that soon enough. For now I'm just glad I didn't have to craft all of these inserters and belts myself. Now one thing I totally forgot about in the first episode was to build a radar. We should totally do that as soon as possible and I'm just gonna plop it down right there. This is gonna slowly but surely reveal more terrain and we can actually kind of see what's going on with our pollution. We can also go for a new research. It is probably about time that we dive a little bit into military, improve on our weapons and get access to turrets. I'm gonna join these two materials together like so and now we have one line of copper and one line of iron ready for crafting. We will need plenty more furnaces so it is probably desirable to push this a little bit towards the north. So now that we have our structure we can just copy and paste it over with Control c and Control v and I'm gonna try to add three more of these modules. Yeah I think that's gonna turn out nicely and this will give us a total of 40 smelters. I feel like 48 is the number we should go for but it would definitely suffice for now. I'm gonna go ahead also research the stone wall. Now we have the space for 48 smelters, we don't technically need those initially and I think we should already make good use of what we are getting here by crafting red science packs in quantities of 1 per second. Next up it's time to upgrade our weapon shooting speed and I'm also gonna go for physical projectile damage afterwards. 
And just like that, I've expanded the entirety of the iron structure. I'm also gonna do that for the copper in due time though. First, we have to fix our power slowly but surely. We are getting to the limits there. And with one gap in between, I wanna add two more boilers. And of course, also four more steam turbines, doubling our power output. And they're gonna take care of the rest. Oh, and of course, don't forget about the pipe there. Wonderful, back to not worrying about power anymore. At least for five minutes. It is now time to brighten up the place and then our first real smelting setup is completed. I believe what I might be doing in the future is split both of these lines up. For now I'm gonna lead them back and we're gonna utilize the space here at the bottom to craft our first science packs in the next episode. Something I would like to add to my crafting list here is ammo. It just requires iron plates and this is possibly best done with a fast inserter. So we'll add that right here. The ammo can be pulled out with a normal inserter. Just a little bit of electricity and there we go. It is just so much faster and it is indeed necessary in order to keep up. As a matter of fact here at the beginning of the line we cannot really keep up because it's only being fed by one furnace. Either way it's going to be really handy to get those crafted in the background. As a result of our shenanigans the pollution is spreading and it looks like we will have to eliminate the first of the nests very soon. So to celebrate this milestone we're gonna complete the structure and cause some more pollution. More power poles for me and of course also a ton of inserters but placing many things in Factorio is one of the joys of it. Et voila, two completed smelting setups, I just need to decorate it with lamps. I'm totally gonna do that for you guys. Looking at this, I really don't want the biters to attack me at this stage, so I'm quickly gonna take the fight to them. I already crafted myself a submachine gun and I'm crafting more ammo as we speak. We can even take some more iron with us to keep crafting. And I also crafted myself five gun turrets that I'm carrying in my inventory. So let's make our way over there, time to fight. First of all, I'm gonna just eliminate the first wave. I can just hit the spacebar in order to automatically shoot. And I just noticed I totally forgot to craft some armor. Whoops. So now I'm wearing it in my inventory and we might be doing a little bit better. Good, it's now time to set up the gun turrets. I'm just gonna place them right here and I'm gonna fill them up. Whoop, I totally missed that. But they should be helping me out now, as you can see. Preferably, I should have taken with me a bunch of repair packs. And now it's time to pick these up again. I'm gonna replace them right here, add a bunch more shots. And just like that, we should be taking care of the rest. Yeah, go down. This was not my most elegant attempt ever, but I'm a little bit rusty here. We can go ahead, use a bunch of repair packs to repair these guys and then I guess go straight for the next base over there. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the first wave myself so my turrets don't suffer too much. Place these guys here and fill them up. That's what I'm talking about. We can also go ahead and start repairing and this way we don't lose the turrets immediately. And just like that we eliminated two of the nests. There's just one more to go. Come on guys. Put, 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 put. Take my turrets. Uh-huh. And repair those guys. Oh yeah, so far so good. Better to take the fight to them in the beginning. This is looking very good now. We have plenty of time to continue. We can keep on polluting the world for science in the next episode. Wonderful. With that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. Also, thank you for supporting the series. You're absolutely amazing. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.